What is going on everyone? Happy New Year and happy 2021. Welcome to the third part of the ultimate guide to beta fish keeping care. A common question that I see from new beta fish keepers is what specifically should I feed my beta fish? There's flakes, pellets, frozen foods. In this video, we'll go in depth on what you should be looking for when you're picking out that food. What is going on everyone? My name is Harry from Farm Aquatics. Here you'll get tips, research-based best practices for all of you casual keepers out there. So as I said, in this video, we're gonna be talking about what you should be feeding your beta fish. This video complements well with the video uploaded prior to this in which I addressed how often and how much you should be feeding your beta fish. That video will be linked down in the description as well as up here. Just as a preface, this is all based off of my own personal research, what's worked for me and my personal experience. So keep that into consideration. This video will be split into three sections. The composition of the food that you should be looking for, the type or form of food that you should be feeding, as well as my personal recommendation. The number one thing you want to consider as you're picking out the ingredients and the composition of your beta fish's food is that beta fish are carnivorous. Specifically, they are insectivores in the wild. Taking that into consideration, as you're looking at the composition of these beta fish foods, you want something that is high in protein. So you may be wondering, what's a food that's considered high in protein for a beta fish? As you're browsing around the different foods, whether it's in the pet store or online, make sure you look at those composition labels, those food labels. I personally think a good quality food should have at least 45% protein in their composition. You could probably get away with foods that are over 40% protein, but I personally recommend 45. There is one other factor that I would consider in addition to the proportion of protein in that food, and that would be the quality of that protein. In order to determine whether your food has high quality protein or not, you want to look at the ingredients label. Some of the things you want to point out include krill, shrimp, salmon. One red flag that you definitely want to avoid is foods that have wheat flour listed as their number one ingredient. Though wheat flour does have protein in it, I would consider that to be a low quality protein. I have recommended this pellet in the past and looking at it now, the percentage of protein is 43%. So that breaks rule one. And the first ingredient is wheat flour. So that breaks rule number two. Um, yeah, this is awkward, but I think that goes to show that I'm still learning in this hobby. This was one of the first things that I purchased on Amazon. It was cheap. It was highly rated. My betta fish liked it. So looking back, it's not the end of the world. And if you really are stuck between a rock and a hard place and you need to go the cheaper option, then do what you got to do. But what I do recommend if you want to give your betta fish the best possible would be North Fin Betta Bits. These hit all the check marks. This one has 45% protein. Some of the first ingredients include krill, high omega herring meal, sardine meal, and then it has wheat flour. So I would highly recommend this high quality protein, good amount of protein, and it's also in pellet form. Which leads me to my second section, and that is the types of food that I recommend you give your beta fish. There are a plenitude of different options. You got flakes, you got pellets, you got live food, you got frozen food. So it can be pretty overwhelming. The general rule here is that you wanna switch up the type of food you're feeding as often as you can. As you're picking your foods, you definitely wanna pick foods that stay at the top or in the water column because beta fish are known to be top feeders. If you had to pick one form of food for whatever reason, I personally recommend pellets. And I think pellets are the best option. First off, pellets float at the top. They're very clean compared to flakes. The proportion sizes you feed your beta fish are easily controllable because the size and shape of each pellet are pretty consistent. And lastly, you have less risk of leaving any uneaten food in your tank because you effectively can feed one pellet at a time if you really wanted to. One comment that I've seen in the past is that pellets can cause bloat, which is why they don't recommend them. But I honestly have never had any problems with pellets. If you really are concerned about that you can pre-soak your pellets just to be safe. Another food that's out there include gel and powder form foods. I personally would stay away from these specifically for beta fish because they're probably not going to be interested. They probably won't be able to find it and they probably won't even look for it to be honest. Generally with beta fish I think you should go with foods that have a formidable shape. The next type of foods include frozen as well as live foods. Everyone recommends these types of foods with good reason. They can be a little pricey and cumbersome to prepare but I personally view them more so as a snack instead of a mainstay 
stay in your food regimen for your fish. Live foods have a lot of benefits in terms of enrichment for your betta fish because it allows them to act upon their innate hunting skills, similar to them hunting, say, a fly that got stuck in the water. With regard to frozen food, even though they are good to have once in a while for your betta fish, generally the nutritional composition isn't as good compared to those processed foods that you see specifically made for betta fish. Even though this may seem counterintuitive at first, it makes sense that processed foods have a lot of that nutritional balance because these companies are making those foods taking into consideration those micronutrients and macronutrients. Whereas bloodworms weren't necessarily created just to feed betta fish. And lastly, although rare, some frozen foods and live foods do come with the risk of disease and parasites, so keep that in mind. Again, I have frozen bloodworms in my freezer, but I feed them more so as a snack, maybe once monthly or twice a week for my betta fish, as opposed to feeding them pretty regularly. With regard to flakes, yes, that is a viable option. I just heard many a time where betta fish aren't necessarily that interested in flakes compared to pellets, but of course, feel free to try it. And that provides kind of a good transition into the last point I wanna make with regard to the types and forms of betta fish food, the number one thing you want to consider is whether or not your betta fish is interested in it. Something interesting about my betta fish is that he only likes bug bites as well as floating pellets. I've tried flakes in the past, but he just showed no interest in them. So as you're browsing through the different fish foods, my advice is that one, if you can ideally get a sample from one of your friends that may potentially also have betta fish, or two, make sure you're buying these smaller packaging sizes for these foods. As Aquarius, we tend to buy in bulk and we like to buy those bigger tubs, but as you're trying to figure out what works for your beta, keep it to those smaller sizes for now. With that being said, if you had to choose between a non-ideal pellet that he did like to eat versus a flake that he didn't like to eat despite it having all the ingredients and the amount of protein that you needed for it, just go with the pellet. So the last and final section will be my personal recommendation and what I personally do. Again, these work for me, so take that with a grain of salt. So I would recommend a pellet or any pellet that your betta fish likes to eat, ideally something that has high quality. So I would recommend the Northfin Beta Bits. As a weekly snack, I would recommend Fluval Bug Bites. Even though these do tend to float to the bottom, I still think these are a great option for your betta fish because these do also have 45% protein and the first ingredient is insect larva. And then lastly, on a monthly or two to week basis, I would sprinkle in some frozen food, some live food if you had it. I personally use frozen bloodworms. I'll link all the foods that I recommend down in the description. No pressure, but if you wanna support the channel, feel free to use those links. I'll also link down some other food alternatives that I haven't tried, but I've seen good reviews about. And I'll also include the protein composition for each as well as the first ingredient that they have on that protein source. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Hopefully it was helpful and if it provided any value for you, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As I always say, the article will be linked down below stating what I said in this video. Again, be sure to follow me on Instagram at pharmaquatics.com. Hopefully you guys had a good new year. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.